going to be. First alert meteorologist Rodney Harris is keeping an eye on that. And we're going to be in okay shape, not great shape, but okay shape. As a reminder, and Brooks mentioned this, the total eclipse itself is west of us in Texas, but that doesn't mean that we won't see at least a partial eclipse here in North Georgia. So specifically for those of you in Metro Atlanta, the partial eclipse where just a little tiny bit of the sun will be covered. That'll start at 145 this afternoon. The maximum eclipse for us in Metro Atlanta will happen at exactly 304 this afternoon, which is when a lot of kids, elementary kids in particular, get out of school. So just after three o'clock, that will be the maximum eclipse. It's not a total eclipse for us, but about 80% of the sun will be covered, and then it'll come to an end at 421 this afternoon. We will have some clouds out there. In Metro Atlanta, it will be partly cloudy, so it'll be hit or miss in terms of whether or not you'll be able to see it. As you go further north, we're going to see more clouds in the mountains, so you're going to have a lower chance of being able to see it because of the cloud cover and the higher elevations of the mountains. The further south you go from Atlanta, the better your opportunity of seeing it because it will be mostly sunny. So mostly sunny further south. For Metro Atlanta, partly cloudy. For North Georgia, mostly cloudy. So that's kind of the way you can view the eclipse today. We think that in Metro Atlanta, about a 50-50 chance as you look up in the sky around 304. As a reminder, don't look directly at the sun. Here is a look at your temperatures as you start this morning. It's kind of interesting because West Georgia, we're in for the most part the 50s, but East Georgia, where you see all this blue, we're in the 40s. 57 in Atlanta, 53 in Canton, 52 in Griffin, but coming to 47 degrees, 51 degrees in Athens. So the further east you go from Metro Atlanta, the more likely you'll need that jacket as you get out the door this morning. In Metro Atlanta, the low 50s between 7 and 8 o'clock. At 10 o'clock this morning, 61 degrees. Lunchtime, 69 degrees. And later on this afternoon, temperatures will be near 80 degrees, 77 degrees at 4 o'clock. Yesterday's high was 74. We're up to 77 today. The normal is 72 for this time of year. So we are are above average with those temperatures. We do have a 20% chance of a shower or two in your forecast today. That's after 7 p.m. from West Georgia to Metro Atlanta. So if you're headed out to dinner tonight, don't be surprised to see a spotty shower or two. Our first alert weather day will start on Tuesday, and we are forecasting rain for Tuesday morning. So as you drive to work tomorrow morning, we are expecting you to get wet. That's the first alert weather day for Tuesday. And then Tuesday afternoon should be relatively drier with the high of 71. And then another round of rain will basically move in late Wednesday through Thursday. That's why we have a first alert weather day for both Wednesday and Thursday. Most of Wednesday is dry, which is why your coverage is only 40%. But Wednesday night into Thursday, rain and storms expected. And then once that system moves out, Friday mostly sunny, 68, a little windy, and a great weekend with plenty of sunshine and your high of 80 degrees by Sunday. Here is first.